Hello, today's problem is assume that a cross is made between two plants. One plant's genotype would be heterozygous for two genes and another plant's genotype would be homozygous recessive for two genes, gene A and B. And all of the offspring are either uh, the same genotype as parent 1 or the same genotype as parent 2. These results are consistent with the following circumstance. And here is the uh, five answers to choose from. If you need the time, you may stop video here, think about which answer is correct. And when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. For those of you who is um, hesitating which uh, answer is correct, here is my explanation. And I want to start with the um, end of this list, answer E, hemizygosity. What is this? And uh, imagine that uh, we have female whose genotype is XX and I use uh, two colors to represent one X chromosome that has a um, gene that is going to be defective. So, uh, for example, this is going to be this chromosome, but mm, not the whole chromosome going to be defective only one gene on this um, chromosome but I would use uh, color for the whole chromosome so um, uh, we may say uh, that this uh, female would be uh, heterozygous for this gene now imagine that uh, the same defective chromosome uh, uh, would be in uh, male so male would have one uh, defective X chromosome and uh, of course the second sex chromosome would be Y chromosome. So that means uh, if uh, this um, uh, defective gene uh, for example here would be recessive so small a and here the same gene would be dominant capital A so that means that this female would be of the normal phenotype. But here, if this genetic disorder would be recessive and uh, there are not going to be uh, other X chromosome to balance this recessive genetic disorder, that means that this male would be uh, affected with this genetic disorder. And example of such genetic uh, disorder would be hemophilia uh, that uh, in heterozygous form uh, wouldn't be uh, present uh, or wouldn't be expressed in females and females would be just carriers and in males we would see this picture when uh, even recessive genetic disorder uh, would um, would be expressed because it uh, doesn't have another X chromosome to balance it and X chromosome is about 10 times uh, bigger than Y chromosome X chromosome has about 2000 genes and Y chromosome has about 200 genes so this is uh, what is the hemizygosity so uh, male would be hemizygous for the uh, chromosome X. So this answer doesn't uh, answer uh, our question so we can cross out it and next um, answer D incomplete dominance so this is simple model in genetics imagine that we have uh, two alleles capital A and small a and uh, this would be genotype of one parent and here would be genotype of the second parent and when we cross these two parents we can have a genotype of the progeny as follows so capital A capital A here capital A small a here capital A small a here and small a small a here and this dominant allele A would be incompletely dominant over this recessive allele A. And if uh, recessive allele A would uh, mean white color 
and dominant allele A would stand for the red color, uh, we would see that here we would have, for example, if it is going to be a plant, uh, here we would see uh, the plant, uh, one out of four with red flowers, and one out of four, also we would see a plant with white flowers. And here, in the middle, we, we would have uh, plants with intermediate uh, phenotype and intermediate color between red and white would be pink. So here we would have uh, plants with pink flowers because uh, dominant allele A uh, wouldn't be able to produce enough uh, pigment to make uh, red flowers. So uh, the intermediate genotype would be pink. So two out of four would be pink. So this is example of incomplete dominance. This also doesn't answer our uh, question. So we can cross out this answer. And codominance would be as follows. So one parent would be capital A and also capital A prime. And the genotype of the second parent also would be capital A and capital A prime. So uh, when we make a Punnett square, we would see that uh, uh, the, almost the same picture as in ex uh, example above. So here we would have capital A, capital A, and this would result in plant with uh, red flowers. And here we would have capital A prime, capital A prime, that would result in uh, plants with white flowers. And here we would have capital A and capital A prime and capital A and capital A prime here. And this would result uh, uh, not into the intermediate genotype as in the example above, but this would result in a genotype or phenotype that would be um, plant with flowers that would have uh, patches of pure white and uh, pure red. So both uh, colors would be expressed and uh, as you see uh, this is would be different picture than uh, what we see in uh, incomplete dominance where uh, this intermediate uh, heterozygous genotype would result in intermediate color between red and white that would be uh, pink but here we would see that uh, flowers would be uh, patches of uh, pure red and pure white so as you see uh, this is uh, two examples are uh, very similar from the genetic point of view, but from the point of view um, uh, phenotypically would be different. And once again, uh, here we cross two parents that uh, phenotype would be uh, pink flowers, and we are going to get one fourth. Uh, this would result in the uh, phenotype of the progeny that would be uh, one fourth uh, red, one fourth uh, white, and uh, one half would be the same uh, phenotype as of the parents, pink intermediate, and here we would have uh, parents whose uh, phenotype would be um, patches uh, white and red, just like in this example here, 
and this would result uh, with uh, uh, colors in progeny one fourth would be red one fourth would be white and one half or two out of four would represent this phenotype the same as uh, we see in parents so this would be codominance and this also doesn't answer our question so we can uh, cross out uh, this answer because as you see uh, here uh, genotype of the progeny and this is F1 generation of the progeny uh, would be different as you see this would segregate to the different genotypes and phenotypes in both examples but here we see that the uh, genotype would be the same as uh, this parents before they were crossed so the same genotype and uh, as you see uh, both these examples uh, doesn't answer this question because here we see that um, traits are segregate so we can cross out this answer and answer B alternation of generations would be when we have a plant that is going to be uh, haploid and such uh, examples would be moss and moss uh, have uh, alternation of generations and on the haploid uh, plant uh, there would be deployed uh, plant deployed part of the plant grown that would produce haploid gametes and this is going to be spores and spores would grow into haploid plant or monoploid and on this uh, monoploid plant uh, deployed part would grow that once again would uh, produce haploid gametes and so this cycle would repeat so this why we call this alternation of generations and uh, we can cross this answer also because this doesn't uh, answer our question because here in the deployed stage we would uh, see a sexual reproduction and that means that uh, crossing over might happen here and uh, we probably would see that uh, genotype of the progeny would be different from the genotype of the parents so we have left with only one exam uh, one answer answer a uh, complete linkage and what is this imagine that we have two chromosomes and uh, one chromosome would be paternal and another one would be maternal we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and during meiosis we would uh, see that uh, uh, crossing over might happen between these two chromosomes and imagine that if we have uh, for example here uh, gene A and uh, on the other chromosome the same gene can be in the different allelic form uh, small a uh, and change can be only in one nucleotide so uh, this is going to be the same gene just different form because uh, this one has um, uh, a change it can be one nucleotide or more so uh, this we call locus and imagine that we also have uh, different so this situation capital A and small a would be what we see here and imagine that we also have uh, uh, another gene on the same chromosome and that gene would be here so capital B here and on the other chromosome homologous chromosome we would uh, have recessive gene uh, small b so uh, these two parents because of the crossing over 
can produce uh, genotypes as follows uh, capital A and capital B if uh, crossing over wouldn't happen or would happen twice so this would restore the order of the gene of the genes and uh, of course we would have uh, small a and small b and uh, we also might have uh, capital A and uh, small b and we also may have uh, small a and capital B and as you see these two genotypes would represent result of crossing over or we call them uh, recombinance and uh, this uh, another two would represent parental uh, genotypes and if we would see situation when two loci uh, separated with great distance or would be on the different parts of the chromosome uh, uh, the probability that crossing over would happen between these two loci would be about 50 percent so we would see the ratio in the progeny between parental genotypes and um, recombinants uh, 50 uh, percent or this would result in one to one to one to one ratio but imagine different situation when we have two uh, genes that uh, reside next to each other so for example if we have situation when uh, the locus for the gene b would be here and that means that uh, the p probability that crossing over happens between the gene A and B would be so small that uh, we wouldn't see this recombinance here and uh, in the progeny we would see only parental uh, genotypes here so as you see that would result that in the progeny we would see the same genotypes as in parents and uh, that means that um, complete linkage would lead to the situation where we wouldn't see a recombination between gene A and GB so the correct answer would be answer A complete linkage would lead to the results when progeny would uh, show the same genotype as the parents uh, whether one parent or another parent and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye